Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hello, gang. How are you guys? How are you? Happy Saturday. Love you guys. And <clears throat> let me just tell you. Let me give you a brief rundown of what we got here. We have some Jamaican oxtails with some Jamaican rice and peas. I made the rice a little bit differently this time. And I have some broccoli. I mean, usually it comes with cabbage, you know. But I had broccoli in the refrigerator. And you know me. I am not going to let my food go bad if I can help it. So we're having a little few uh, broccoli spears with our Jamaican dish today. Um, we have... I've got some orange mimosa. Yeah, I ran out for a little bit, but I got some orange mimosa back again. They still don't have my Canada Dry sparkling water. They still don't have it. I can't find it anywhere. So I guess this might be the new thing right here. So, you know, maybe they'll sponsor me since Canada Dry never did. You hear that? <laughs> Maybe Clear American will sponsor me since Canada Dry never did. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just being silly again. That's just, that's what I know. You know, that's the comedian in me. <sighs> My subscribers are the best subscribers in the whole freaking world. I love you guys and I thank you so much. Thank you to all my subscribers and to those of you who have not subscribed yet, please hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video and subscribe, please. All right, guys, <clears throat> I've got some Texas Pete. And some Sam Yang one time. I never tried the Sam Yang on my oxtails before. So today, you know, figured let's do that. Let's sit these hot sauces up here. Let's uh, do a little comparison today and see which one tastes best on oxtails. I am going to begin eating because I am starving. Mm. Rice and peas, broccoli, and oxtails. Mm. Mm. This new rice, this new rice that I made, It's all that. It is all that. So let me tell you what I did with the rice. <clears throat> While I was putting it um, in the water to boil, well, let me back up. Before I put it in the water to boil, I used the pan that I was going to boil the rice in and I put some um, onions and garlic in that pan. 
with a little bit of compound butter. And I let the um, garlic and, and onions saute just a little bit. Just until they were tender. Then I added the rice into it. Stirred it up, put some garlic powder, some onion powder, some salt and pepper. I used white pepper. You can find at any Asian or Indian store. Then I added the water <clears throat> and a little bit of chicken broth. The dry kind, the powdered chicken broth. But I added, you know, the one cup of rice to one cup of water and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I added some turmeric and some paprika for color. Now, turmeric is going to give it a little bit of flavor, too, because turmeric has a flavor, but paprika doesn't. And then I just let it do its thing for 20 minutes in the pan. And it came out delicious. So good. Mm. Mm. It's hot. <clears throat> Very hot. With spice and with heat. I always like to let you know whether it's spicy hot or heat hot, and it's both. Okay, this is both. I used uh, basmati rice this time. I usually use jasmine rice, but I, I used basmati this time because I was in the mood for basmati. I hadn't had any in a while. Last few times I made rice was bus my um jasmine. <laughs> okay. So switch it up a little bit, you know. Let me tell you guys this. <clears throat> I went to the meat store this morning. Because I was going to try something completely different as as a Jamaican dish. I had even asked my friend at work who's a Jamaican guy. 
how he made his dish. He gave me the whole rundown and I was so excited to make it. I wanted to make, today I wanted to make curry goat. And um, I went to the meat store to get some goat meat. And I was actually trying to get a hind leg. <clears throat> and the young lady at the store told me that because of the pandemic thing, they were having trouble getting goat meat. She said they could they could, they were getting in the breast meat. But they were having trouble getting hind legs. So. And then, well, also then she told me that the breast meat of a goat is very bony. Has a lot of bones in it. I didn't know that. So I'm really glad she told me and didn't just try to get a sale and sell it to me. So, I told her I would check back on the goat and just take the oxtails instead. So one of these days, guys, Hopefully within the next few weeks or so. Because I'm going to check back. I'll check back at the store in a couple weeks and see if they got their goat legs in. So in a few weeks, I hope I'm able to bring you curry goat. But I can tell you one thing. This is really good. <laughs> I can tell you that. I can tell you that. So tender. Mm. I was so hungry. I'm going to try some of this Sam Yang one time on it. Just because I never have. <clears throat> and I'm curious to see what it tastes like. With oxtails. I know um, <clears throat> Texas Pete is excellent with oxtails. Just excellent. And I'm just curious to see what Sam Yang hot sauce is like 
with ox cells. Mmm. Mmm. I think Sam Yang is good with anything. Seriously. That was good. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, <clears throat> that's good. So the weather here is beautiful today. I'm telling you, I love it. It's about 71 degrees. Perfect for me. Last night, it got down to about Oh, 58, maybe 60 degrees. Tonight it's going to drop even lower. It's going to be like 52. Yeah, great sleeping night. <laughs> great sleeping night. Then it's supposed to be <clears throat> in the lower 70s tomorrow. I think it's perfect weather. If we could get through the summer with daytime temperatures below 75 and nighttime temperatures below 60, that's perfect weather. In my opinion, I know there's a lot of you out there who beg to differ. And that's okay. It's all right if you do.
Let's do a little bit more Sam Yang over here. Yeah, it's hot. Oh. I'm just trying to act brave. <laughs> oh no, it's hot. Oh, mm. very hot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My lips are on fire. On fire. Oh. 
It didn't seem like it was as hot the other day. Mmm. Well, gang, it's almost that time. Peace out, my gastronomes. <clears throat> I will see you soon.